सो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित एंड इन आवर टूडेज लेक्चर ऑन एंड्रोलॉजी द फंक्शनल एनाटमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ द मेल डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स टूडे वी टॉक समथिंग अबाउट द टेस्टीज फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल काइंडली डू सब्सक्राइब इट सो दैट यू गेट माई वीडियोज very fast and then you can share it you can see it fully you can give your comments likes and you can give your suggestions for improvement of this channel so friends today uh, we talk about the testes the functional anatomy our next lecture the functional anatomy and physiology of the male domestic animals the testes friends i am professor gn purohit the dean post graduate studies and university head department of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics veterinary college bikaner rajasthan india so our today's topic is the testes the topic 1 would be testes and its structures and the topic 2 would be functions of the testes topic 3 species differences in the testes and uh, the topic 4 the thermoregulation of the testes friends testes uh, it has got other synonyms archeum the male gonad the testes word originated from the greek word orchis or the male gonad testes are the primary andrological organs which produce the spermatozoa and the male sex hormone the testosterone they are morphologically oval in shape and paired glands the right and left testicles are separated by a muscular septum which is formed by the dartos muscle the testes are located outside the abdominal cavity in most of the species they are located between the thighs and within the scrotum the testes are intra abdominal in elephant whales seal dolphin birds and rhinoceros which are known as the testocondas the testes is supported by one of the two scrotal pouches where they are held by tunics and by the spermatic cord the testes has a head a tail a lateral and medial surface a free border and the epididymal border the testes is covered by a white fibrous capsule the tunica albuginea the septa divides the testes into sections the lobules where the seminiferous tubules are located the rete testes is a network of tubules within the hilus the mediastinum the rete testes carry the sperm from seminiferous tubules to the afferent ducts of the epididymis so here in this picture you can see this is the testes these are these are the septa these are the lobules within the lobules are the straight seminiferous tubules and the convoluted seminiferous tubules this is the outer layer covering the testes the tunica albuginea this is the mediastinum testes and this is the rete testes this is attached to the head of the epididymis these are the ductuli differences and then this is ductus epididymis this is the body of the epididymis and this is again the tunica albuginea this is the tail of the epididymis which connects it to the ductus deferens the spermatic cord through which the testes are held is composed of the spermatic artery the spermatic vein the spermatic nerve the internal cremaster muscle the lymphatic vessels the vas deferens and the tunica vaginalis propria you can see in this picture this is a spermatic cord the spermatic veins which form the pampiniform plexus the cremastic muscles the vas deferens and the testicular artery this is the epididymis and this is the testicle now we talk something about the embryonic development of the testes the origin of testes is initiated from the gonadal genital ridge it occurs in four phases the first phase in the first phase there is migration of the germ cells at the gonadal ridge in the second phase there is formation and proliferation of the blastulema for genesis of indifferent gonad in the third phase there is migration of mesonephric cells into the gonad in the fourth phase there is sexual differentiation and its development into testes so this is how the testes develop then the testes you can see in this picture the testes consists of the testicular capsule the parenchyma the mediastinum and the rete tubules 
as talked earlier this is a spermatic cord this is the vas deferens then these are the seminiferous tubules the corpus epididymis corda epididymis the rate testes and the vas efferentia and then this is the cap uh, epididymis the testicular parenchyma consists of the seminiferous tubules the interstitial cells or the leydig cells the capillaries lymphatic vessels and the connective tissue testis proper is covered by two capsules uh, the tunica vaginalis propria and the tunica albuginea the tunica vaginalis propria is composed of the parietal layer which faces the scrotum and the visceral layer which faces the testis again in this picture you can see the internal structures of the testis so these are the uh, tubuli uh, recti and then this is rate testes this is the epididymis the testicular arteries and the veins the ductus deferens artery and the veins the distal end of the testis are attached to the scrotum by the scrotal ligament the testis proper is closely covered by a thin serous membrane the tunica vaginalis propria beneath this structure is a dense connective tissue capsule the tunica albuginea from which septa radiate to the mediastinum testis except in the stallion to forms the lobules of the testis within this lobules are the seminiferous tubules which are lined by the germinal epithelium that produces spermatozoa and sertoli cells which are located in between the developing germ cells the seminiferous tubule is made up of two type of cells the germ cells the spermatogonia which forms spermatozoa and sertoli cells which are also called the sperm mother cells or nurse cells or the pillar like cells or the subtentacular cells enrico sertoli was an italian physiologist and histologist who discovered the sertoli cell in 1865 the interstitial cells the leydig cells which lie between the seminiferous tubules secrete the male hormone the testosterone and french leydig discovered them in 1850 the seminiferous tubules converge at the apex of the lobule at the receptacle to jo join the straight uh, tubules so this is the structure of the seminiferous tubules this is a basement membrane the sertoli cells the spermatogonial cells and the sperm cells in between between uh, the seminiferous tubules also lie the uh, leydig cells which produce the male sex hormone the testosterone the straight tubules are also called the tubuli recti that enter the rate testes a structure of anastomosing spaces located in the mediastinum testes there is no mediastinum testes in the stallion as is present in other animals from mediastinum testes numerous fibrous septa radiate and divide the testes into a number of chambers all lobules of testes there are no well developed septa to divide the testes into lobules in chicken the collecting tubules join the afferent tubules from the rate testes 6 to 24 different ducts arise these ducts form a single duct uh, which we call the caput epididymis on examination of the testes the tortuous configuration of the blood vessels is most readily noted in the tunica albuginea in the bull there is a further provision assisting the heat regulatory mechanism of the testes this is a further provision uh, the consistency of the testes is usually turgid the parenchyma is yellow to reddish brown in color and bulges on section so this is the approximate length of the seminiferous tubules 6000 meters in the bore 5000 meters in the bull 4000 meters in the ram 150 meters in the dog and 25 meters in the tomcat so this is again the same structure which we were talking previously septa dividing into lobules which have the seminiferous tubules the convoluted and the straight ones the straight ones are known as the tubulus tubuli recti or the straight tube then this is the mediastinum testes and these are the rate testes these afferent ductus and this is the ductus deferens the uh, seminiferous uh, tubules contain three layers the outer capsule the basement membrane and the testicular cells the basement membrane and these are the leydig cells between them the testicular cells are composed of germinal cells parenchymal cells and the sertoli cells and then you can see this is the structure uh, of the uh, 
testicular cells. Now, what are the physiological functions of the testes? The testes is, is the uh, organ which produces the male sex hormone, the androgen or the testosterone. It secretes testicular fluid. It nourishes the newly born male gamete. It helps in the transportation of the spermatozoa. It provides blood testes barrier and it secretes estrogen in a limited amount. The associated structures of the testes include the testicular ligament. This is the fetal ligament which is a derivative of the gubernaculum and present during the descent of the testes into the scrotum. Later on it gets atrophied. Then testicular mesentery is a part of primitive mesentery which encloses fetal testes and is present during the descent of testes in the scrotum. It continues in the form of peritoneal fold between testes and epididymis during postnatal life of livestock. Then testicular appendix is a non-functional residual part of the embryonal hood during postnatal life of livestock. The blood and nerve supply, the testes is richly supplied with blood by spermatic artery, testicular artery, a branch of the abdominal aorta. The veins on leaving the testicle form a network, the pampiniform plexus around the artery in the spermatic cord. The spermatic vein which issues from this plexus usually joins with the posterior vena cava on the right side the left renal vein on the left side. The nerves derived from the renal and posterior mesentric plexus form the spermatic plexus around the vessels to which they are chiefly distributed. Now this is the species difference in the testicular measurements. In the bull, the shape is oval, stallion again oval, ram oval, boar oval, and dog round to oval and cat round to oval. These are the dimensions, the length, diameter, weight and the location, the uh, test is located vertically in the bull, ram and boar but they are horizontal in the stallion and they are vertical in the cat and oblique in the dog. So this, these are, this, this is the testes of the bull, it is uh, Placed vertically lies uh, the head of the epididymis lies dorsal to the testes and uh, you can see how it is uh, hanging around in the scrotum. The testes of the buffalo bull are uh, slightly similar uh, more or less similar to the bull but in some breeds they lie slightly obliquely. In the stallion they are oval but compressed from side to side they lie horizontally. You, you can see how the testes are located in the stallion. Then in the ram and buck, they uh, lie vertically, just similar to the bull. And the appendix testes is a remnant of the paramesonephric duct, present as a small protruding structure on the cranial pole of the testes. It is also seen occasionally in the ram. In the boar, you can see they are located behind the thighs and they are oval and uh, caudal and ventral to the ischiatic arch. In the dog, they are horizontal and oblique and uh, the body of the epididymis lies dorsal to the testes. In the tomcat, they are oval, the long axis is oblique and location is caudal to the thighs. In the male camel, the scrotum lies high in the perineal region. The testicles are oval in shape and lie obliquely. They are slightly obliquely. The testicle length 7 to 10 centimeter, weight 90 to 100 gram. The right testicle is smaller. You can see the right testicle is smaller as compared to the left testicle. For effective functioning of the testes, they have to be kept at a temperature of 4 to 6 degree lower than the body temperature. And how uh, this thermoregulation of the testes is done? The scrotal skin and sweat glands, it has got temperature receptors. When there is elevated environmental temperature, these receptors elicit the response by producing panting and sweating and lower the testicular temperature. The scrotal skin is devoid of subcutaneous fat. It is enriched with large adrenergic sweat glands. Sweating allows scrotum to be cooled by evaporative heat transfer. Then uh, for the thermoregulation, 
there is the dartos muscle it is an open mesh like smooth muscle layer which lies beneath the scrotal skin the contractile characteristics of dartos are androgen dependent and its ability to contract in cold climates is lost in castrated males the action of dartos muscle in stallion in, is enhanced by the presence of smooth muscle in the spermatic cord and the tunica albuginea by contracting in cold weather to hold the testes against the body and by relaxing in warm weather the this is the principal thermoregulator uh, the dartos muscle is the principal thermoregulator of the testes then the external cremaster muscle it raises the testes thereby playing a role in the thermoregulation of the testes it contracts and relaxes creating a pumping action on the pampiniform plexus thus facilitating blood flow and enhancing cooling efficiency the pampiniform plexus is the proximal in the proximal end of the testes testicular artery is coiled and surrounded by a network of spermatic vein this arrangement is called as the pampiniform plexus you can see here uh, the blood present in vein cools the incoming blood of the arteries and thus the temperature is lower down the tunica albuginea is richly supplied with network of blood vessels and plays a role in thermoregulation of the testicular temperature in human beings the difference between body temperature and testicular temperature is 2 degrees in bulls it is 4 degrees in ram it is 5 to 7 degrees the anatomical arrangement of testes and features of testicular blood vessels maintains the testicular temperature then the blood testes barrier seminiferous tubules are not penetrated by blood and lymph vessels the peritubular myoid cells surrounding the seminiferous tubules in the sertoli cell junctional complexes form the blood testes barrier the primary function is to prevent autoimmune reaction from destroying the developing germ cells the myoid cells are the incomplete or partial barriers located in the basement membrane of the seminiferous tubules this barrier is poorly developed in bull ram and boar it is not important in farm animals the sertoli cell junction the tight junctions formed between two adjacent sertoli cells divide the germ cells into two compartments as basal compartments and adluminal compartments they are the true blood testes barrier the chemical changes which occur in blood cannot occur within the seminiferous tubules so friends let us recapitulate what we have learned today the testes are the male uh, gamete producing organ that also produce the male sex hormone the testosterone the testes are located in the scrotum between the thighs except in the boar and tomcat and held by the spermatic cord and the tunix the testes comprise of capsule parenchyma mediastinum and retetubules and is covered by tunica vaginalis and tunica albuginea the testicular parenchyma consists of seminiferous tubules leydig cells capillaries and connective tissue the seminiferous tubules have the outer layer basement membrane and testicular cells the testicular cells are the germinal cells parenchymal cells have the uh, germinal cells parenchymal cells and the sertoli cells the sertoli cells produce the spermatozoa and cells between the seminiferous tubules are called the interstitial cells or the leydig cells that produce the testosterone the testicular temperature is maintained by the scrotal skin the dartos muscle the external cremaster muscle and the pampiniform plexus the seminiferous tubules are not penetrated by blood and lymph vessels and the myoid cells and tight sertoli cell junctions act as blood testes barrier so friends this is my contact details this is my email this is my linkedin and youtube channel link so you can contact me here so kindly listen to the lecture completely share the video and share the video give your comments suggestions and comments and subscribe to my youtube channel govind narayan purohit if you like them thank you thank you